algunos alumnos de la Escuela Secundaria Técnica número 17, Artes Decorativas. Eh, muy buenos días, el profesor Daniel May y su servidor Alejandro Ramos Berti. Les eh, estamos saludando desde el, la Dirección General de Secundarias Técnicas. Estamos transmitiendo desde este lugar y les enviamos un cordial saludo. A raíz de los acontecimientos ya de todos conocidos, eh, la Dirección General y la secundaria a la que pertenecemos han puesto en marcha una serie de acciones eh, con el propósito de que ustedes no se atrasen en sus, en sus aprendizajes, que puedan repasar lo que ya en un inicio habíamos eh, hecho y que puedan seguir eh, reforzando los aprendizajes de la unidad 1A, que fue la que, la que ya habíamos comenzado. Eh, recuerden que estábamos trabajando la unidad 1A, la práctica social con la que estábamos, eh, que estábamos desarrollando era entender y expresar información relacionada con bienes y servicios en un ámbito eh, familiar y comunitario. La competencia a desarrollar es ofrecer y, suger y entender sugerencias eh, al momento de comprar o vender. Teníamos cinco aprendizajes esperados. El primero es anticipar el significado general de, de, del texto mediante... Eh, una grabación, una conversación en vivo, etc. Eh, el segundo es identificar las ideas principales. El tercero es buscar la confirmación de, eh, en un intercambio oral. Eh, el cuarto es producir expresiones eh, para argumentar o objetar. Y finalmente ajustar eh, tono, ritmo y entonación al momento de hablar. Eso es, recuerden, esos eran los contenidos de la unidad 1A hasta el momento en que eh, ocurrió el el terremoto y hasta ahí suspendimos. El día de hoy vamos a hacer una actividad para que ustedes recuerden eh, más o menos cómo estábamos trabajando y que les sirva para las futuras eh, actividades que vamos a, a realizar en la plataforma en la escuela eh, con ustedes en Google Classroom. Eh, recuerden que ahí es donde vamos a estar eh, trabajando y nosotros evaluando sus, sus actividades. Well, uh, first of all, we are going to uh, start with a short dialogue, a, sh a dialogue uh, related to uh, shopping, obviously. Uh, uh, the teacher, Daniel, is going to help me with the reading of this uh, dialogue. The dialogue, remember, must have at least three elements, the, um, <clears throat> the salesperson, the customer, and the goods or the services that are going to be uh, purchased, okay? The, As any single dialogue, it has opening, the opening part, the body, and the closing part at the end, okay? So, the dialogue takes place at Sears in Chicago, Illinois, in the United States of America. Okay. Oh, good evening. May I help you? Uh, yes, please. I'm looking for some jeans. What size do you wear? Very. What color would you like? I see it. Blue, black, or white? Uh, I like blue, please. Here you are. Would you like to try it on? Uh, no, thank you. How much are they? Forty uh, dollars. Okay, I'll take them. Okay, thank you. Okay. Bye. Remember that it is very important for you to practice all this uh, kind of dialogues at home, uh, orally, loudly. If you have any person who knows English, it, it could be more uh, important for you uh, to interact with this uh, with these people: your mother, your father, your cousin, whoever. Okay, uh, we are going to reread it for you to to uh, notice the pronunciation. Could you help me, please? Yeah. Good evening. May I help you? Yes, please. I'm looking for some jeans. What size do you wear? Thirty. What color would you like? I suggest blue, black, or white. I like blue, please. Okay, here you are. Would you like to try them? No, thank you. How much are they? Oh, uh, three dollars. Okay, I'll take them. Yeah. Okay, well, so this is the dialogue. Remember, we have seen in the class uh, different types of dialogue, very similar, uh, very similar to this one. And uh, remember that one of our achievements is to identify the main ideas, okay? And this is going to be done here in this activity, in this worksheet, with a little quest, with a short questionnaire, okay? Here we can see the questionnaire. Uh, question number one is, what is the customer looking for? 
okay? What is the product he, he wants to, he or she wants to buy? Uh, what color would he, um, would he like to buy? The color of the, of the piece of clothes. Uh, what size does he wear? Uh, how much are the jeans, the cost of the jeans? And what other colors uh, is the salesperson suggesting, okay? Remember that it is very important to identify the suggestions in the dialogue, okay? After uh, analyzing, reading uh, two or three times the, the dialogue, please read very carefully the, the questions. Notice and pay a, a lots of attention to the question words, what, 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 how much, etc., for you to uh, answer uh, carefully all these questions, okay? Um, after answering the questionnaire, you're going to answer to uh, other uh, activities. You have two exercises, okay? On the first uh, exercise, you have to unscramble the words. We have done many times this kind of exercises, okay? Remember that you have, for example, here one, help, may, I, you, and the question mark, okay? So you have to uh, put in order all these words to form, in this case, a question, okay? Notice that we have here the question mark, and we have to put in order the words. So for, okay, I am going to do the first one as an example. Uh, help, may, I, you. It is very important uh, to pay attention to the capital letters, okay? This one is the first one. It's the may, it's the model, okay? May, then the subject, I, the verb, help, and, at, and you, at the end, the question mark. Okay, exactly the same you have to do with number two, size, what you do, where, the question mark. Three, this, about, what color, and the question mark again. Three questions. And four, another, wood color, I like. Okay, this is an affirmative sentence. Okay, and uh, the final part, the last uh, exercise, is to use all the information you, you have here, a jacket, red, medium, and $35, to write a, a dialogue very similar to the one we have read before, okay? Remember, it's a jacket, red, medium, $35. Uh, you can follow as a model the, the original conversation. Bueno, eh, jóvenes, recuerden que si tienen alguna duda, por medio del correo de la plataforma en Google Classroom se las podemos resolver. Eh, estudien, por favor, para que en cuanto nos reintegremos a, a la escuela, al lugar donde vayamos a estar, eh, podamos seguir trabajando con, ya con, con normalidad. Gracias.